hello guys welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome welcome the door is open and to my returning subscribers you are also doing welcome i thank you for your support for watching for liking and for all your comments so far keep giving me the support if you want to see me more on your screen yeah so i've been quite busy but i decided that i have to give my viewers and my subscribers and followers something i just want to share my childhood experience on how we should treat people and what we did as young as we were how our parents addressed the issue and how it has really helped me so once upon a time are you ready to hear it <laughs> when one um, we used to have a help but the one who was with us went so my aunt went in for a new help so we just came back from school we saw a different face a new face i was living with my cousins and then it was a whole family issue so um we got home we realized that a new face has come to the house and how we saw the lady, we were like, hey, who is this thing? She's a villager. For our local dialect, we would say Krasni. Yeah, usually people would say Krasni. But there's a thing that nobody comes from a city. We all came from a town or a village. So where you might think there's a town, it's somebody's village. Yes. So we saw her and we were like, oh, she's not my type. As for us, we are far better. That's how people also behave. She's not my level. No, no, no. I'm not coming close to you and all those things. And we weren't lucky, you know, because I quite remember that day. Either it was a Valentine's Day because usually they used to give us um, chocolate on Valentine's Day. I can't remember, but I knew that day we had something special we had to take, which was a chocolate. So my cousin, if you are watching me, just and remind me so i just um we were just misbehaving and we're like no we won't talk to him we we'll relate to him and we're saying all those um codes things which weren't fair to be treating our fellow human being so um later on <laughs> my aunt came back from work and she was like <laughs> what what have i heard you people are doing to the lady oh yes <laughs> she had it and it wasn't good for us that evening <laughs> we would have lost the opportunity to enjoy our bit of the chocolate so she made us sit on the floor hey we nearly got punished too it seems like i can't remember some of the things but we nearly got punished for treating another person very poorly or badly they sat us down. I don't know if, like, we were about to get some beatings from the way we treated the lady. So we were told to apologize to the lady, relate nicely with her because she is also a human being like us. Whether she looked slimmer, looking and like unhealthy, and looking like somebody who hasn't eaten for days or like was in a poor state, it didn't mean that we should also treat her badly. And to my point, but I think later on we got that chocolate. Thanks be to God. <laughs> God for the chocolate dear. Hey, it's important for me, you. But we got a chocolate. But what I'm trying to drive at right now is that we are all from different races, from different tribes, from different homes, and we are all different in shades and colors. Some are fair, some are dark. We have um, people from rich homes, people from the poor home. We have people who are intelligent, those who are less intelligent, or those who are not intelligent. So whoever you come into contact with, whether it's been your help, maybe she was our help 
at that time. But we learned a very big lesson that helped us to relate with everybody who came who came into our circle. We realized that we are all one human beings. My uncle used to say that six feet, all of us will go in there. When it comes to a matter of death or sickness, it doesn't know that I am a white lady, I am a dark lady, I am fair, I am dark, I am rich, I am poor, I am intelligent, I am brilliant, I am this or that, I am beautiful and I am ugly. It doesn't know, it doesn't um, give the, um, differences. So we were told to give everybody that accordance of respect. Whether the person is older than you or you are older than that person. And I want to bring it out to that. For me personally, that's my personal experience that I'm sharing that. I learned a very big lesson from this. And later on, we got to play with her. We even gave her a new name. We gave her like an American name. Maybe later on, I'll bring that story out. But we later learned to talk, to, to relate well with people. And it has helped us in our journey of life. Because even at your workplace, in your schools, wherever that you go, you will meet different kinds of people. And how you relate to them. Some people can be very annoying. And that's a different case. But yes, still, we are to treat people right. Treat your house help right. I know of people who have treated their house help, their mates, and people who live with them. And you see them and people think that, yes, he or she is part of you and that's what i've learned for my family that's what i've learned so anybody that comes to stay with us we treat the person as our own no differentiation what you eat we can give to the same person but sometimes usually with helps especially house helps or housemates people treat them very badly the food that they give them is different giving them bad food, giving them all those things. But we have to treat each and everybody equally. Let's treat our fellow human beings with the same respect you would have given to maybe your family member, your friend, your loved ones, and everybody you meet. Yeah. It's be in your workplace, at your workplace, at your church, in your office, in your classroom, at your school, anywhere you find yourself, in a bus, in a train, in an airplane, or aeroplane, anywhere, let's try and like give everybody, because you don't know, you don't know where the person can reach. You don't know where you meet the person the next time. Maybe today that you see the person as a help. Try and help the person. You see the person as a maid. Lift the person up. And because of this, some people even tend to um, treat their house helps, beat them, brutalize them, inflict pain. And at the long run, it comes back to hunt you. So it's better you treat people right than treat them badly. Yeah. Even the words that you say, the gestures, the facial expression, the way you talk sometimes. Yeah, so we have to treat people right and equal. So there's a little experience I wanted to share to you. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you've learned some one or two lessons from me if you apply to your daily lives. And I am hoping to do more videos so that I can see you more often. But don't keep your likes and comments to yourself. Just give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Because I can see that there are a lot of people watch my videos. I guess still. They don't subscribe subscribe Google, subscribe it's free you are not paying anything for subscribing so just subscribe let's join the team i do call it global the global family 
we have the great blue buff on me and then be moving higher and higher thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye